Time for Steve's midweek shout out. Good to come to here in the middle of the week. And as I always say, I hope you're having a blessed week. Hey, my message for you today is kind of a simple message. It's how can you unclutter your brain to make space for the presence of God? Now, I've been meditating on a passage this past week. I've been carrying around with me on my phone. It's from uh, Philippians, the fourth chapter. Paul says this, summing it all up, friends. I'd say you'll do your best by filling your minds and meditating on things true, noble, reputable, authentic, compelling, gracious, the best, not the worst, the beautiful, not the ugly, things to praise, not things to curse. I love that passage. It's a way of saying, focus on the beautiful, focus on the positive, focus on the uplifting and the nurturing. Because you know what? I think we bombard ourselves with so many negative things. You know, many years ago, I made the decision to stop watching the evening news, to stop reading a newspaper, definitely to stop reading uh, news magazines. And I never wanted to watch the news commentaries with different people critiquing the news and what's going on in the world because I found that it was, I was bombarded bombarding myself with negative things. And instead, I wanted to focus on the positive. So what I did is I just removed those things to create a space where I could focus on the presence of God. I started focusing more on um, meditation, on prayer, on scripture reading. I started surrounding myself with hopeful people, inspirational people, creative people. And together, I created a community that was a nurturing and uplifting community. And what it did is it created a space in my brain for the presence of God. And that's my, that's my invitation for you, to create a space for the presence of God. But then with that comes a challenge. What do you need to remove from your life? What do you need to cut out to create a space that is uncluttered for the presence of God to speak to you? Focus on things that are beautiful, nurturing, uplifting, the best, not the worst. Hey, it's always great to come to you here in the middle of the week. As I always say to you and remind you, there are several different ways you can connect with Columbine United Church on all the different social media platforms. We're doing a new thing right now called Group Me. Download the app, Group Me on your phone. And we're having a two-week conversation right now on overcoming obstacles in your life. You can join with other church members and people from the community about how to uh, overcome obstacles. You can live stream Columbine on Sunday morning, either on my Facebook page or on Columbine's page, uh, Columbine's website, columbineunited.church. Wonderful ways to fill your minds with positive things, not negative things. Hey, it's great to come to you here in the middle of the week. Take care. <laughs>